What would you think if I told you that Jacob Toretto is alive? If you want to know what the theory that says this is true, stay tuned to this video. In Fast 9 we discovered a lot about Jacob Toretto's life and the history that marked him. We know that Dominic and Jacob's father, Jack Toretto, was going through very strong economic situations and apparently could no longer cope with the situation and made a very drastic decision. When we saw the scenes we realized that the father had talked to Jacob and told him about his plan, but warned him not to tell Dominic. For that reason, Jacob is the last one to touch Jack's car and it was he who manipulated the car. Jack then impacted his car with Kenny Linder's car and caused his car to explode. Jack was killed instantly when his stock car crashed into the wall and burst into flames. Dominic recalled hearing his father screaming as he burned, but people who witnessed the accident explained that his father had died before his car exploded. But before knowing this information one thought that Jacob was the bad guy, because Dominic didn't know how things had happened, until a friend gave him a detail about a problem in the mechanics of the cars and he remembered that his father's car had a similar problem and his brother had been the last one to touch the car. We also know that one of Jack Toretto's friends was touching the car that had been used when Dominic's father had the accident and Dominic didn't like that, and his father's friend said offensive things to him and for that Dominic hit him hard and for that reason he went to jail. Then he met his brother at a race and confessed to him that he knew he had killed his father and told him that if he won the race, he had to get out of his life. Dominic won and so his brother left. Some time later Jacob, who was looking for Dominic to get revenge, confessed to him that he had to do that because his father had sent him and that he could not tell him because his father forced him not to say anything. Then Dominic himself recalled that his father was going through economic situations. We also found out that Mia Toretto, sister of Jacob and Dominic had kept in contact with her brother Jacob, so most likely she knew the information from her father, but she didn't want to tell Dominic so as not to make the situation worse. That could explain why Mia was still communicating with Jacob and why she was so fond of him, because clearly she would not have kept in contact with her brother if she knew that her same brother killed her father. Then in the final scenes of Fast 9, we saw Jacob almost get hit by a steel truck and Dominic realized that and saved him, then Mia grabs him and tells him to run. Then we saw that Jacob gives the car keys to Dominic but then Dominic gives them back to him so he can run away and that last scene implied that they fixed their problems. One detail to think about is that the main reason Jacob didn't have a good relationship with his brother was because of jealousy, as he thought his father loved Dominic more than him. But then as they both matured, we saw that they were able to make peace. Now, it was poignant to see that in Fast 10, Brian's main protector was Jacob. Gunman sent by Dante broke into Toretto's house. We saw Brian in danger and suddenly we saw Jacob saying that his brother sent him to take care of Brian. So we know that their relationship was arranged. It was nice to see the other side of Jacob, that funny, tender and protective side that he only showed by being with his nephew. We know that Jacob searched for Brian and took him to a safe place, but since Dante had access to the system called, God's Eye, he quickly found his location. Jacob was on the run with Brian for a long time until Dante caught him. Jacob was frustrated by what happened, and realized that he could not save his nephew because he had a failure in his car. So he told Dominic that he would have to save his son alone. Dominici was very scared because he knew what was going to be even though he told him not to do it. Jacob decided to sacrifice himself and came up with the idea of having his car explode along with the other cars chasing Toretto, so he could help Dominic save his son. But despite everything Dante did, Dominici was later able to grab his son again. This loss was unexpected but it was a kind of sacrifice that reminded us of the sacrifice that Jack Toretto made, who in the past had to risk his life so that his children could live better. Now, we never saw Jacob's body, so if the body was not seen you can't be sure that he is really dead. This is something that is very common in this universe. For example, 
We know that Han faked his death and many thought he was dead and we saw the car explode. We know that Han had a love affair with Giselle, but she supposedly died because she chose to save him. Giselle saw that a man was going to attack Han and she preferred to shoot and save him. But unfortunately, she fell to the ground and it was understood that she had passed away. However, we never saw Giselle's body, simply, according to the plot, she passed away. But surprisingly, Giselle appeared in the final scenes with a giant submarine rescuing Cypher and Li Ti, in that frozen place. So it is very likely that Jacob is alive, since he became an important character within the saga and represents the concept of family reconciliation and that touching detail is convenient to be left in the movies, because one of the main messages when Fast Universe started was the importance of the concept of family. That the question would be, how did he survive and who saved him? We shouldn't think too much about how he survived because we all know that Toretto's team is almost immortal, although it sounds a bit sarcastic and funny at the same time, we know that the team has done impossible missions to survive and have come out unscathed without a scratch, so the fact that he survived would be something very simple and expected in these movies. But it is believed that he himself could have gotten out of the car when it crashed or that someone helped him. But if someone did help him, dot who could it have been? Well, there is a theory that it could have been Shaw. Recall that Toretto's team had told him that Dante wanted to eliminate everyone who had helped Toretto and among them was Shaw's mother. Quickly when he learned that information he picked up his weapons and left, and we understand, he went to find his mother to save her from the hands of the villain. So it's very likely that he was aware of everything that was going on with Dante, but he hadn't intervened yet. So it is believed that since he was after Dante, he was in pursuit and when he saw Jacob's car explode he was quick to save him. But of course, I don't think he saved him just because he liked him, but because he knows that Dante is very dangerous and perhaps the help of someone else could do him a lot of good in the mission to eliminate him. For this reason, it is strongly believed that Jacob would be alive in Fast 11. Let me know what your theory is for this character. Do you think he survived? Do you think a person helped him out of the car? Leave your comment here so we can read it. Remember to like this video and subscribe to this channel to see theories and curiosities about the Fast Saga.